Hi, I'm Matt. Rangemaster has asked me to provide the following information to help ensure the connection of your new range cooker can be completed on the day of delivery by following this simple pre-installation information. This setup guide has been designed to provide you with an overview of the essential pre-installation requirements for your Rangemaster appliance. For more detail, it is highly recommended that you refer to the full installation guide available from the Rangemaster website. Check number one, the electrical connection. Your cooker must be connected via an isolation switch, which must be accessible and within two meters of the appliance and in the same room. For ceramic cookers, you'll need a dedicated 32 amp electrical supply using a six millimeter feed from the consumer unit. Due to a change in the design of the rear panel on our cookers, the use of a surface mounted electrical connection box as depicted in this video is no longer suitable. The connection box should not protrude more than 30 millimeters from the wall, which means that the box should be a recessed type. The cooker connection point should be positioned to the rear of the appliance. Should you need to make any alterations to your electrics, then you need to seek the services of a qualified electrical contractor. Check two, hot zone. This is an area at the rear of the cooker, which must be kept free from any surface fittings or furniture, such as isolation switches and plug sockets. The area must be the full width of the cooker and a minimum of 650 millimeters above hob level, depending on your model. But please do see installation instructions for guidance. Plug sockets like this are in an unacceptable position and would need to be moved by a competent electrician. The cooker must have side clearance above hob level of a minimum of 75 millimeters up to a height of 410 millimeters. This can be reduced to 25 millimeters for non-combustible materials, but please do see your installation instructions for guidance. Should your new Rangemaster cooker be replacing an existing appliance, it is important to ensure that any existing services meet the current regulations. This includes the hot zone as set out in this brief video. We strongly recommend that you pull your cooker away from the wall and have your electrical connection point checked by a competent person before delivery to ensure a successful connection. We hope you have found this short video helpful and that it will assist you in the successful connection of your new appliance. However, this video does not replace the need to download and study the full installation guide and all work should be carried out by fully qualified persons. Thanks for watching.